and welcome to EC Electronics. Today we are going to discuss about light emitting diodes. So we are using LEDs or light emitting diodes everywhere in electronic devices, in house, in automotive vehicles, etc. So uh, light emitting di diodes are very much being used nowadays. So what are light emitting diodes? So they are normal diodes but they emit light. So we have already done a video on PN junction diode. So if you are not familiar with the concept, please do watch the video on PN junction diode. I'll share the link in my description box. Okay, so we are going to discuss about light emitting diodes. Okay, so if you can represent a normal diode like this, if you can represent, then you can represent a light emitting diode like this. That is, the PN junction emits light. So this is a representation for a light emitting diode. Okay, so why are we going for light emitting diodes? Because they are having a longer lifespan, they are having faster switching, they are small in size, they are very low power consumption, etc. So these are the features which help us to go for LEDs or use them in our daily life. So they are very much useful nowadays. So let's see the case of a PN junction. So this is a PN junction. So it consists of a P side and an N side and a depletion region which consists of immobile ions. Okay, so what happens at this PN junction? The recombination of electrons and holes happens. So while the electrons and the holes recombine, in general case for a PN junction diode, some amount of energy is released as heat. So in the case of a light emitting diode, due to the peculiar nature of the semiconductor material or the compound which is, used, which is being used, it emits light. So hence we are seeing various colors from light emitting diodes or LEDs. So from this recombination of electrons and holes, this light is generated. Okay, generally we use for a P injection diode, the materials which are used are silicon or germanium. But in the case of LEDs, it is either gallium arsenide or gallium phosphide, etc. So these type of materials are being used for manufacturing of LEDs. So due to this, the recombination of electrons and holes generates light. And various colors of lights are being emitted and it is being dependent on this energy band gap. So put this energy band diagram. So this is an energy band diagram so so with this variation in this energy emitted so when electron and hole is recombined as i said some energy is emitted or released if electrons and holes generate lights in the case of leds so various leds emits various light so it actually depends on the band gap of the valence band and the conduction band. So uh, due to this energy difference, the color of the light varies in various type of LEDs. Okay, so what happens actually when an electron and a hole is recombined? So there is a valence band and there is a conduction band. So let's explain with the help of a energy band diagram. So there is a valence band and this valence band consists of plenty of free electrons. And conduction band consists of holes. So when the recombination takes place, an electron from the valence band is recombining with the hole. So during, during this recombination, some amount of energy, that is this energy band gap, according to the energy band gap, some energy is released. And this energy, that is Eg, equal to Hc by lambda. Okay. Where H is the Planck's constant, C is the speed of light or C, lambda is the wavelength of light. So the variation in this EG will vary the lambda because the other two are constants. Okay, so based on this energy band gap, the lambda or the wavelength of the light varies. And due to the variation in this wavelength, different lights are emitted. Okay. So this is actually happening in the case of a light emitting diode. Now let's discuss about the various types of LEDs. 
Okay, the first one is through hall LED. It is available in various shapes and size, but the general diameter is from 3 mm, 5 mm and 8 mm. So these three diameters are generally available in through hall LED and the colors are from red, green, blue, yellow, white, etc. So various colors of LEDs are available in the type through hall LED. So it is the first type of LED being used. I have included the image of a through hall LED. So please watch that image uh, in order to identify how the LED looks like. Okay. Next type of LEDs available are the very common surface mount LEDs because these LEDs can be easily surface mounted onto a PCB. They are also called SMDs. So next type is SMD or surface mount LED or light emitting diodes. Okay, so they can be easily mount to a uh, PCB and uh, the general types are 5050 and 3528. So these are two types of surface mount LED. Next I have included the image of a surface mount LED. Please watch the image to find out how it looks like. The next type of LEDs are bicolor LEDs. So from the name itself, it is clear that it can emit two colors. So that is why the name bicolor LED. So third one is bicolor LED. So this LED is consists of three leads. That is two anode and one cathode. So it consists of three leads, two anode and one cathode. Okay, so that is the third category. The next one is RGB LEDs. So these type of LEDs are generally being used in all the electronic devices. It can emit three colors, red, green and blue. Okay, so that is why the RGB LED, so it is being used inside the motherboard on all the computer hardware and all the major electronic devices. So this LEDs are very popular in the electronic industry. So that is the fourth type of LED. So next is the image of a RGB LED. The last main category of LEDs are high power LEDs. That is the fifth category. So they have a power rating of greater than one watt. So power greater than 1 watt. Okay, so they are used for all the high-end applications. That is, it is used for spotlights and also it is being used in automobile vehicles, etc. So these are the major categories of light emitting diodes. So we have discussed about how the light emitting diodes emits light. And also we have seen the major categories or the types of light emitting diodes. So uh, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please do like this video and also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.